Do you really regret your behavior that was captured on video? Do you think you did anything wrong? Well, the way it's perceived on camera, I uh, would definitely change decisions I made. Tonight, for the first time, Channel 9 is questioning the officer at the center of this controversial arrest that sparked days of protests in Rock Hill back in June. Jonathan Moreno was fired and now faces a criminal charge over his actions that were captured on cell phones and body camera video. And now he is sitting down only with our Allison Lottis to talk about that day, about being fired, and what will happen next. Allison? Scott and Erica, Jonathan Marino told me that incident led people to draw very strong conclusions about him. And he wanted the chance to talk about the 10 years he spent serving Rock Hill. But I was also upfront with him that our interview would include direct questions about what we all saw unfold on camera. Because I want to let people know that I, I'm not hiding. Jonathan Marino is no longer a Rock Hill police officer. His career ended in controversy. Got it on camera. He ain't doing nothing, y'all. After video of this June 23rd arrest went viral. Marino faced the community about two weeks later to apologize in a public news conference before his own arrest. Now, for the first time since, Marino is speaking publicly about his work as a Rock Hill officer, more than a decade of it, and the tactics of officers that afternoon. He says police were not looking specifically for Ricky Price. My role was to take down any vehicle that our surveillance vehicles would identify. The criteria is guns, gang member, or drug dealer. But when Price made an illegal turn, officers said they stopped him at this gas station and found a loaded gun, crack cocaine, and marijuana in his car. The situation took a sharp turn when Ricky Price's brother Travis arrived. Marino didn't know Travis had permission from other officers to collect his brother's jewelry. Someone nearby captured what happened next on Facebook Live. Look at this! Community members shot. reacted with outrage. <laughs> Protesting for days outside the Rock Hill Police Department, even setting fires. When police released body camera footage of the arrest, Look at me! Fight! Fight! It's just me and you, baby! It sparked anger from some leaders like Rock Hill NAACP President Dr. Norma Gray. Officer Moreno, I am tremendously disappointed in you. Call him a boy, like that's unnecessary. Gray says the language and aggression caught on this video she's seen too many times before. Of the culture of many police officers in America that treat African American men all the same. You're all criminals. Can you take me back to that day and, and what you knew at the time, what you thought was happening? Unfortunately, at this time, I can't. And the reason being is because I'm still pending trial. Do you think you did anything wrong? Well, the way it's perceived on camera, I uh, would definitely change decisions I made. He was fired and charged with third degree assault and battery over his interaction with Travis Price. And laying there in my cell, I was just like, is this a dream? Am I, is like, this, this has to be a nightmare. I was a coach, a mentor, school resource officer that transferred into a violent crimes unit. That's unheard of. It's very rare you're gonna find a guy that is an instructor, is a SWAT member, canine member, former canine handler, and investigator. I just don't understand how we couldn't have resolved this a better way. What do you think should have been done to remedy that in a different way? I understand the police in general across the nation definitely needs change. I don't disagree with that at all. As a first generation American and a Hispanic young male, I know what it is to be a Spanish kid on the block. What I'm trying to say at the same time is police officers need some type of support. We don't have anybody that stands up for us. So we're basically leaving our careers up to City Hall. Charges against Travis Price have been dropped, but he's now suing Rock Hill in a defamation lawsuit. The city's defense argues Price is at fault for his arrest, claiming he was negligent and caused the situation. 
The legal battles over what happened that June afternoon are far from over. The trust of some in the community far from fully repaired. You are hired by the city of Rock Hill to protect all of its citizens. Marino's future and whether it will include a career in law enforcement is uncertain too. Do you want to be a police officer again? I don't know. I really don't know. I've, I've thought about being a politician. And Jonathan Marino says after his case is over, he will make a decision on whether to pursue public office. His trial is currently scheduled for next year. So Allison, in, in light of all this, have Rock Hill Police made any changes in, in their training or anything else? Well, they told me that every year officers undergo de-escalation training. Since this incident, they are researching new training courses, but so far none have been added. Allison, thank you.